Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Soy Lamin y bienvenidos a Afro Spanish. Now, English says White House and Spanish says House White. Who's wrong? Who's right? Who cares? Now, every Spanish student had once put the adjective in front of the noun, so don't feel bad, because if you speak English, putting the noun in front of the adjective is like telling your brain that summer is cold and winter is hot, even though sometimes it feels like that. Anyway, it is not going to be easy in the beginning, but after a while, it becomes very easy. Trust me. But first, what is an adjective and what does it do? Well, an adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun. For example, the tall man. Tall is the adjective and man is the noun. And tall is describing the man. In English, it's the tall man. But in Spanish, is el hombre alto. As you can see, in English, the adjective came before the noun. But in Spanish, the noun came before the adjective. Generally, in Spanish, adjectives are placed after the noun they describe. However, in certain situations, an adjective can be placed before a noun, but be careful, because uh, some adjectives change their meaning when they are placed in front of a noun. And I'm going to give you some of those adjectives that change their meanings when placed in front of a noun later in this lesson. And also, one of the things that you need to know about the adjective is that they agree both in gender and number with the noun that they modify or describe. Now, in case that you forget or you don't know that every noun in Spanish has a gender, there is a video link in the description. You can check it out to better help you understand the gender and the number of a noun in Spanish. Let's see some examples. El hombre lento. La mujer lenta. Los hombres lentos. Las mujeres lentas. Now, number one, lento is masculine and singular because hombre is masculine and singular. Number two, lenta is feminine and singular because mujer is feminine and singular. But number three, lentos is masculine and plural because hombres is masculine and plural. As you can also see that number four, lentas is feminine and plural because mujeres is feminine and plural. Now, one thing you should know by now is that there are exceptions to every rule. So, you should know that some adjectives don't need to be adjusted for gender. For example, adjectives that end in an E, like inteligente, verde, caliente, grande, amable. For example, el chico inteligente, la chica inteligente, las camisas verdes, los pantalones verdes. Also, adjectives that end in a consonant, like genial, azul, gris, cortes, marrón. For example, el cielo azul, la mesa azul, los chocolates marrones, las sillas marrones. Now, these are some of the adjectives that change their meaning when they are placed in front of a noun. And these adjectives are pobre, solo, único, viejo, varios, triste, antiguo, distinto, raro, cierto, grande. Let's see some examples. El pobre hombre, the poor man, which means unfortunate or pitiful. For example, you feel sorry for them and it has nothing to do with money. The second one, un hombre pobre, a poor man, which means he doesn't have money. Also, una mujer única, a unique woman. She's one of a kind. And una única mujer, a single woman. She needs a man. Now, as long as you remember to place the adjective before the noun, you'll do just fine. Homework. Grande after a noun is spelled like this. But before a noun, 
is spelled differently. Find out how they spell it before a noun and put it down in the comment. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Muchas gracias y nos vemos.